Hey guys, welcome back to Karen Creek. Today's episode, we're gonna show you how we built this little retaining wall out of rocks from this property, converted this steep hillside into a terraced fire pit seating area, infinity fire pit on the Karen Creek YouTube today. Let's go. So here we are on the, let's call it the west rim of the property. We're kind of in the middle of the property, but this particular area, it's probably 30 acres, is nothing but rocks. Nothing but rocks. Like that one. There's over there, over there, here. They're scattered everywhere. Here, here, down there, up here, around here. What we're going to do is relocate these rocks over to the mini cabin which on a full wheeler, it's about a seven to eight minute drive. A lot of seat time. I'm gonna bring the mini hoe up here, root around these rocks, get in place. Coco, my 15 year old son, he's gonna be spending some time in a John Deere skid loader. Trip after trip after trip. He's always wanting to drive that thing, so old dad's putting him in it. equipment up to the cabin and we have our stones now these stones I pretty much just dug up what was right in that certain area I did pick out particular stones for the step area I'll go over a brief description of what we're going to do now and a little project like this let me tell you it really tests your artistic capability all these stones are not uniform we have different size stones thicknesses widths lengths etc all right as we're up here at the cabin site with the Darby the dog. Obviously up here, a fire is always going to be a nice necessity to have is a nice campfire, whether it's for cooking or just socializing around or heat. As you can see there, just left of Darby is where we have our existing fire pit. What we'd like to do with these stones is we'd like to take a wall, curve it around the bottom of this chestnut oak, then have a terrace, have a flat spot, then up just behind the dog, have a little set of steps and another short wall and those steps will kind of go right up to the stairs to the mini cabin. This really tests one's artistic capability. It's hard to tell by camera but this is a really steep bank. The stones are all random sizes and we've definitely got enough equipment up here to do this but it takes the mini hose going to be the MVP at this job moving forward but obviously that was the MVP up to this point was getting all these stones up here. Well, I will tell you, normally we do a project like this, especially in town on a paying customer where we might have more uniform product we're using. We're always going to start at the bottom of a terrace system and always work up. Up here, for what I'm doing, it's backwards. But I'm going to build these steps first. I think I want to design the layout around the steps. Once I get those steps done, then I'll be able to start placing the stones, connecting the steps, and then we'll start on the bottom layer. That's backwards. But it's okay. All right, guys, a little end cab action here. So basically now i got my step stones all laid out here, left to right. They're actually in no particular order. So right now, as I'm sitting up here, I'm taking a quick glance at all these stones and trying to figure out which one should be my bottom stone. 
I'd like to start with the bigger, more surface for the bottom and work up to a smaller surface. So we'll go with this one. What I'll typically do here is try to kind of flip it over, look at it. So I think the best side, the best face would probably be that way. Alright, so now that's how I want that stone to lay in there. So I'm gonna put it here. Let's back up just a skosh. Oh, wrong direction. I'm gonna back up just a skosh. Skosh. Yeah, I said skosh. And since that's got that little bump out, we're gonna have to dig us out a little more. Just gonna pull out loose, pull out loose dirt back towards us. Because we're gonna use that for the next one. Dirt underneath them. 
have it. Alright, I like that one now. Once we get some dirt behind that, and get rain and stuff, it'll kind of locks it all in together. I see one down here I really like. most of the rocks here in place used every single last one of them i don't know if i got lucky but it kind of all worked out just how i needed it to work out with the exact amount of rocks because i didn't want to have to relocate the track going to go over the other side of the hill to do this daggone thing again so luckily looks like we're going to make it work now i don't want to say a disclaimer but i want to remind you what i said earlier that this is kind of an archaic type quick sunday afternoon job Stacking the rocks actually only took me about an hour. Now I have to get some backfill to fill in the, the terrace here. Let's take a walk around, show you what we've got so far. You can see how this layer is going to be. We'll have the fire pit somewhere here in the middle. These stones, the right side, it's not symmetrical at all. It would be nearly impossible to do this symmetrical without having the stones real close or spending tons of time to do this. As you can see, the top is somewhat level. The steps look pretty good. And we've stayed consistent from left to right on the size of the stone and, and how it's layered. A project like this, you know, obviously, one, you got to have the equipment because it took a ton of equipment. I want to say this took knowledge. Maybe knowing how to run the excavator helped a little bit. And believe it or not, I've done a bunch of these and just kind of knowing as you're digging and, and just getting a feel for the rocks, for your, for your landscape, how you're wanting it to go. Maybe that experience comes into play, helps you out. Uh, make this project a little bit smoother and as it wraps around you know it's definitely going to be we always talk about form follows function well this is trying to get best of both worlds form and function because the form of the situation is the looks you know how it looks the function of this situation is to have a fire pit that we can sit up here and enjoy exterior of the cabin you know we put it up here because we were so excited about the views that we have up here and we'll take a quick peek of those i mean just sitting up here you can see for miles and miles and miles away and it's just uh spectacular up here so let's get this dirt backfilled then we'll move on to the next step
tell you what, what a satisfying project this has been from start to finish. We've got everything done here. Got a fire going, check it out. This is gonna be so nice to come up here, sit down and just relax. Check out the view, watch the sun go over the top of Rocky Knob. We are super fortunate to have this ability to do a job like this. With our equipment, knowledge, property, it just all falls together perfectly for us. I don't think a guy could ask for anything more. Lights, camera, action. All right, guys, well, another awesome S. <laughs> you guys jinxed it. All right, guys, well, another awesome S. All right, guys, well, another awesome episode here at Cairn Creek. Thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cairn Creek.